Alright, December 29th, 2023. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics, right? We're working on this, uh, this uh, Fleetwood back here behind me with a full wall slide. This is video two showing you a special tool. Uh, a lot of you can get it from the tool owner program, Advance Auto. I think Napa has them. You can buy them. Whatever it takes for you to get the job done. This is for your techs out there, too, to help you. A lot of these, here we go. Here are the tools. One, you need an eighth-inch Allen wrench to get the gear set screw out, which has a Woodruff key in it. There's, there's your lines. There you go, see? That'd be the bigger one, all right? And there's your gear. It's 24 tooth, and it's a uh, toothless. So, the other tool you need is a, a punch, number six, and that'll get this one out. What is this? This is the coupler, right, that the motor goes on to, see? There you go. So that motor, once you, once you uh, unbolt it, well, the individual had this, tried to do some of the work himself and all. There's your, there's your part numbers. Uh, 524 120 serial number, right? Um, he stripped it out. He tried to put it in, got it crooked. So I got to clean that up. I might make a video on that, how to use a tap and die. All right. And there's the encoder. That was bad. I found them over in China or Japan or something like that for $9 and something. I got a couple coming. But you can get them from uh, Winnebago. Right, or no, Fleetwood for like $184. Um, these bushings, pretend this is the metal frame that all this sets in. These bushings set up in the frame, and that is, that's why that's war, and that's why that's war. What keeps them in check from coming out of the frame is these little press pins. Okay, that was a big one, but that was a solid, and it goes right through there, holds onto that shaft. The gear goes there, like I said. The problem is it's a friction fit gear, tight. So what I'll do before I put the new one on, I'll get that bad boy some super hot water, put this in the freezer, and hopefully I can slide it on a little easier. All right. And that I'll probably clean that up. But anyway, how did I get it off? Because it was here. So I got it to this point. I couldn't go that way, if you remember in video one, because the main frame was right here. So I tapped it out as much as I could with a hammer this way. All right, and I got it, right? And then the gear was right, right, yeah, right about there. Then I took this tool. I slid it in this way, put it up against the frame, and of course the screw's not going to be out that far. And then I pushed on it right there. You can see where some of the screw marks are. Let's see. Yep, right there. So... What did I need to do? The tool was a 14 millimeter and I got a ratcheting wrench, make it a little easier on my butt. And then a 17 here to hold that. Remember, this is gonna push this way. This goes up against that metal frame inside and it slowly pushes the shaft out and this kind of hits the inside of this metal bracket right here. It's in a metal box. And then that slowly slides it out, folks. So what's the tool number? Here we go, we got an OEM Tools 27031-A. That makes this job a lot easier. Um, some people like to heat all this stuff up. I don't like getting there because it's next to the gas tank. And remember you needed a, a flat punch, right, number six. And to get the small ones out, you needed a number 10. Remember, it's like just like wire gauges. The smaller the number, the bigger the punch. The bigger the number, the smaller the punch. All right, this is video two to just to show you some of the tools that I use to get this out. Uh, thank you very much, Jeff from RV Diagnostics.